Anytime you have your schematic finished, before you go to your printed circuit board, make sure you have a list of all of the components. So in this video, I want to show you how to create a bill of materials. Let's go to your uh, schematic here and then choose reports bill of materials. It's awesome how simple and easy this is to set up compared to other software. It's, it's a much smoother process here in Altium. Now, show not fitted, you can show not fitted parts, right? Uh, you may not have manufacturer or manufacturer part number enabled as a column. What you can do is look for that property. And then it pulls up and then you can say whether it's visible or not visible in your thing. I think you can also drag. Of course you can drag. Yeah, be, of course it's easy. All right. And then what is this? This filter part, you can filter by which manufacturer you want. That's crazy. All right. Anyway, you can choose these properties, choose any properties you want really, and add them as columns. I'm going to go with the manufacturer and manufacturer number. Technically, if we wanted to use a template, these would be manufacturer space one and manufacturer part NO space one, but that's fine. Let's go back to general. I'll choose MSXL for my file format. You can use whatever web page. If you don't have that, I'll go with MSXL. And for my template, I'll use no template just to print out the raw stuff, but you can do, you can use any template you want, play with them, add the properties that make sense for the template and it'll work fine. Now you can choose to add the bill of materials to your project, which I recommend and then I open export it. So let's go ahead and uh, hit the preview. If you do a preview, it opens up in Excel. Yeah, that looks fantastic. So you get to preview everything before you actually generate it and export it. Also notice this thing. You can choose the no variance version, right? And see how that LED, that red changes from not fitted to fitted. And then you can choose the variant version, V01, which is fitted, not fitted. Go ahead and click export. And then you can name it whatever you like. This is in my project outputs for LiPo battery folder. Click save. It saves it with the same name as the project. You may want to put underscore bomb at the end of it or the date in just numbers and then bomb. But notice that it opens just like I asked it to. And it has the reference designators and whatnot. Yeah, that looks fine. Click export and click OK. Now, how do we make use of the bill of materials? Well, let's say you like to use DigiKey. You can use DigiKey's bomb manager or bill of materials manager to spruce up, clean up and fix up your bill of materials and then go from there. I won't go into all that, but that's an option. Mauser has a similar thing. It's, it's very nice. Mauser's process for that is comparable. Well, not comparable, actually a bit smoother than the the DigiKeys one, but DigiKeys is very good, very reliable. Once you've generated your bill of materials uh, with your variant in mind, click, go ahead and click save and you are done. The bill of materials is finished. Uh, thanks for watching.